Welcome back. Um, if you're new here, then I'll introduce myself and my name is Whitney Gentry and I am a wife and a mom to four kids. Uh, I am 31 and soon to be 32 in November and my husband and I have been together for 17 years. I don't know, but it's been a long time. <laughs> But anyway, our oldest is 11, and we have a 7-year-old, a 5-year-old, and then the baby girl is 1. And on my channel, I like to do cleaning, motivation, um, declutter, and organization, and just overall tips. If I have any, find any tips or anything, then I will share them with you. Um, and just things like that. So if you like cleaning and decluttering and clean with me, then hold on. You're going to like today. This is a whole house clean with me. It is not super dirty or filthy, which thankfully, because I don't think I would have been able to get anything done, but it was just going around and putting everything back in order and cleaning the areas that needed to be cleaned. And I actually put my mattress cover on that's a protector. And for some reason in my brain, I thought it was the bottom sheet. So I had to go back in and redo it because I put the top sheet on thinking that mattress protector was the bottom mattress um, sheet and it wasn't. So I had to go back in and do it twice. But that's just mom brain. I can barely think anymore. So anyway. <laughs> I hope you liked today's video. <laughs> So I, this is actually two days of cleaning in this video. So I did a whole house clean with me for two days. And the first day I really struggled with motivation. Um, you could see there's a lot of dirt on that chair. How crazy, I have not found that dirt yet. But anyway, so I was really struggling with motivation the first day and getting up and doing it probably because it had been storming and it was kind of dreary and ugly outside. But you know, it sometimes you just have those days where you just don't want to get up and do anything. But I had a subscriber make the sweetest comment on one of my videos of how she liked my cleaning, she liked my house, how I was relatable, and just all kinds of stuff. Really long, super encouraging comment. 
And you know what? After reading that, the next day I woke up feeling so mo motivated and ready to go. That was the coolest comment I think I have ever gotten. And I appreciate that so much because I was just feeling, I guess, down in the dumps, not wanting to do anything. But you know what? It was it was an amazing comment and it made my day. And um, I haven't asked her or anything if I could share her name or anything. So I didn't want to share her name or anything on here. But um, yes, I think you know who you are. You're amazing. Thanks for the compliment. Um, I can't. I can't even um, thank you enough because it got me up and motivated and ready to go. I really don't like having things on my countertops but um, I think it's it just always feels like clutter to me but I'm going to end up either gifting this computer it's an older iMac either to a family member or donating it I'm gonna see if anybody might want it first in the family just because it's a computer and it has information on it and I'd have to make sure I wipe it really good but anyway, yeah, I, I'm trying to clear off countertops. I drives me crazy with the little bit that's on there now. <laughs>
fly, you got me like My, my, my But I don't like having things on the countertops for many reasons. Um, one is it feels like clutter. Secondly, it just is hard to clean around and move things around. But I don't know if you've ever watched um, the YouTube channel, this one woman, the minimal mom. And she's a minimalist and she's got like four kids as well. And she talks about um, clutter and um, having too much and they only use the things that they only keep the things that they use every single day so they they don't have like a ginormous house either so it's all about maintaining and keeping things to a minimal and keeping up and taking care of the things that you do have and instead of buying larger amounts or backup supplies they only use and buy the things that they absolutely need and and her and she talks about her house and she doesn't like things on her counters because it feels like clutter and I know that I am nowhere near becoming the minimalist that I would like to be and she is probably a more a little bit more extreme than probably um, I could ever be but it is definitely interesting to me and I really really like it I really hate feeling like there's clutter and she can explain it so well so if you get a chance I think you should go check out her channel um, I've learned a lot from her and I really like the concept of living uh, a much more minimal life and it's not like super crazy weird or anything like that it is literally just keeping your house and the items in your house down to the bare basics of what you really need every day. Something better. Wait a second. I wanna stay up late with my heart in your head. Maybe stay too much cause you don't understand. You got me go.
she has been putting this bucket that she got from McDonald's on her head and it has just been the cutest thing ever. We have been laughing and she has been cracking us up and she's also been trying to help me out and I have no idea. I think she got a couple pieces of clothing in there that were dirty but oh well. Anyway and um, she's also gotten to where she brings me things to for her to open and try and she just thinks it's the neatest thing and I open things just because she brings them to me and it's so cute. <laughs> I do pretty much just use my Jaws spray for most things in my house, um, but this one right here is for a bathroom and I just like it. It gets all the tough grime and everything off. I like using it on my washer and dryer. But I also use it in my bathrooms, but I occasionally swap out in my bathrooms with scrubbing bubbles just because it's an old-fashioned favorite of mine. But yes, I love my Jaws products. Also, if you're interested in my Jaws cleaning products or any of the cleaning products that I've used today, I will be linking them in the description box below, like my Bissell Crosswave Wet and Mop Dry Mop. Um, and all my microfiber rags and my jaws cleaners um, so yeah I'll have those all linked for you in the description box I know that some of you have asked about it and um, that's why I'm linking them I know many have been very curious about my abyssal crosswave so yeah I'll be linking it for you One of the tips that I got from the YouTube channel, The Minimal Mom, is this right here. Putting all of your DVDs or games or whatever into a CD case holder. And I don't know why I didn't think of this before because it is brilliant and it is huge space saver. I actually have been putting all of these DVDs up in my closet in storage for when like our Wi-Fi or something goes out 
and I cannot believe I've never thought of this before for all of our movies. I have all the kids movies towards the beginning and the adult, um, you know, like TV shows and all that, like Friends and all that towards the back and movies like my fa- one of my favorite movies, Don't Laugh, is Tremors, so that's in the very back, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so this I cannot believe the difference. All of these movie cases took up an entire trash bag. And I just put all of the um, games in this smaller CD case folder. And um, what an amazing tip that was. I'm so glad that I I realized this and found this out. So thank you to the Minimal Mom. Um, That was a great tip. (laughs) Everybody's been saying that you're up to no good Everyone has been telling me that you got me hooked You're playing it big time, you're feeding me lies Everyone has been bugging me to sever the ties But I would never, ever, ever would have believed them, no reason Sometimes the truth is hard to I decided I wanted to push my couch back to give more space even though it does block the door but let me tell you this is one heavy duty couch I actually struggled for so long I had to cut some clips out and I actually think I'm a pretty strong woman I can usually take beds apart move furniture all on my own but this couch is so heavy and if you don't if you haven't seen some of my other videos it actually used to be a sectional and we tore it apart because we just it's just so big for the space that it's in <laughs> you could see how winded I was but yeah it was so big for the space we in and then yeah, we tore it into just a one long couch but it's still such a big long couch just one of those seats fits like two to three people so it is so huge and so heavy and it I don't even know how my husband picked it up and moved it and took it apart because it is extremely heavy <laughs> Bissell Crosswave mop um, that everybody asked me about and it really is an amazing hack. Um, I don't care if you're a mom or whoever, if you have a lot of flooring, I'm telling you this is the most amazing thing you could buy. And I don't know, but um, I'm definitely linking it in the description box for you if you're interested. I am not sponsored or anything, but I will link it for you. It was a thirsty night when I first saw you Those green eyes caught me Yeah, it was crazy It was a Friday night when I first kissed you You struck me like lightning You broke my chains and released me And days turn into nights on the couch In your apartment No, I am not the 
same Everything has changed Every day 24-7 You call my name And I will come running Yeah, every day 24-7 Yeah, every day I will come running, babe Here is one of the dirty water um, toilet dumps. It is so satisfying for me, but you know, if you're one of those people who doesn't like it, let me know. Maybe I can adjust my videos to the majority of my, my audience to how y'all like it. Um, you know, I just, let's take a poll, let's see. Everything has changed every day. Everything has changed every day 24 7 you come So one of my viewers did comment and say that they like you know that I don't over decorate the house and honestly I I don't decorate much because of the feeling of it feeling like clutter um I don't like it and I don't like spending the money on decorations because a lot of times with these kids they end up getting broken or things like that so and honestly I really don't spend much money on decorations or anything like that for many reasons and it just feels like clutter um, and if you watch like the minimalist people they don't really do decorations much and the little they have is very little and that's I guess that's all that's really me at my heart and I would really like to look more into this I'm just discovering minimalism if that's a word Min minimalism is I don't know but anyway <laughs> I really would like to look more into it <laughs> making bunk beds but I like the space that bunk beds give you in a room and Kellen and Jackson are still pretty young they're the five and seven year old and I like them to have plenty of room to roam around if they want to in their own room Tristan's room and he is my 11 year old and his room is never dirty really um, if anything his bed is not perfectly made or I may have to dust a few things but he really keeps his room pretty immaculate he is very much like me has a place for everything
And now we're moving into the baby's room. I say baby, but she's actually one, but we still think of her as a baby. And she really doesn't sleep in her room still. She's, we are struggling to get her to sleep in her own bed, but her room is super cute. <laughs> But uh, I probably need to go through it. It still feels so cluttered in her room. But maybe it's just me. Maybe it's super cute to other people. Now we're in the kids bathroom and it's always the messiest place in the house. Um, the kids do not know how to flush or I don't know, but there's always a bunch of poo particles and I'm sorry, but that's, I guess that's just real life, mom life, um, a family of three boys. Um, so I'm sorry in advance that you will be seeing that, but I just figured it would be best to just be honest and shoot it as it is. <laughs> I know what you're thinking it's pretty gross but hey that's a way a family is and I'm sorry and I don't wear gloves so I know some people may be thinking that but hey it's my family and I just do this so often I don't even think about putting gloves on because honestly I've wiped all of their butts and all of this stuff had poo on me many times and I just wash my hands after because they were all babies before and anyway I don't even think about it because honestly I'm just a mom and I'm used to gross stuff and the time that it takes to put gloves on and off that's just exhausting so um, I'm sorry but that's just how it is for me I'm not gonna waste time putting gloves on or money Was a thirsty night when I first saw you Those green eyes caught me Yeah, it was crazy It was a Friday night when I first kissed you You struck me like lightning You broke my chains and released me And days turned into nights on the couch In your apartment No, I am not the same Everything has changed Every day and sometimes I like to tackle their bathroom on my hands and knees so that I could get down real low and see all of the gross stuff. But anyway, we're moving on to my bathroom and this is the last room and we're ending with my bathroom. So this will be the last um, few scenes. Um, I just wanted to tell everybody that I thank you all for watching if you've made it this far. 
Um, I appreciate you so much and all my subscribers. Um, I thank y'all for subscribing and joining this community. And I absolutely love this community. You guys are so supportive and so cool and so sweet. Um, you guys have made it. Made my day. Made it for me. But anyway, um, if you're new and you haven't subscribed and you've made it this far, I really hope you will subscribe. That way you'll be alerted of my next video. That way you never miss one of my videos when it comes out. Um, and anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Um, and look at that hair that was in there. That's all my hair. I know I shed like crazy and that's mainly what gets wrapped around the vacuums and in the drains. So yeah, uh, I don't know. But anyway, I just want to say have a good weekend. Um, and I love you guys and I'll see you next video. Everything has changed every day. 24-7, you call my name And I will come running, yeah, every day 24-7, yeah, every day I will come running, babe So fly, you got me like My, my, my